Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Welcome back to my channel. So I'm here for a massive junk journal restock. Um, this is on my shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk website. Um, and I've got a variety of really fun, exciting items. Now, these aren't all the items that I've got on my website. I have got some other things as well, um, more like regular stock items. So um, like the paper fillers or like the paper bundles or the bound paper pads and things with printed copies of my printables. I think there's some of all of those. There's the fabric scrap packs, the lace packs, all of those kinds of things, um, you know, that I kind of regularly carry. They're all on there as well, but I'm not going to show you those today because otherwise the video is going to be huge. So I'm going to just go through this stuff as quick as I possibly can, really, because there's a lot to get through, including this huge junk journal, which we may have to do in a whole separate video. We shall see how we get on. So what have I got? I've got five, five? Yep, five cute little, no, six, six cute little kind of bound, um, very, very simplistic journals. And then I have got one, two, three, oh, sorry, I just knocked the camera, four, four um, decorative snippet trims. So I'm going to just quickly show you these snippet trims first because they'll be, you know, quite quick and easy to do. So this is one of them this is an eclectic one what i'm calling an eclectic one because it's all different colors and yeah all kind of yummy lots of yummy details on there now i have done um a video where we cut up a sorry it's got sort of hot glue threads so if i'm pulling anything i'm pulling off the hot glue threads that are sort of loitering around on here um yeah, I have got a video where we took one of these and we cut it into little sections. So, for example, maybe I would cut off this edge here and use this as a decorative little strip on a page. You know, I would maybe cut off this, maybe have it, um, you know, as a little kind of decorative piece on a cover. You could cut off just this yellow flower on this fabric and have that maybe as a paper clip or again, a little kind of decorative edge. All these little sections you could cut into as many little pieces as you like. I mean, of course, you could use the whole snippet roll or snippet strip, as I would prefer to call them, because I don't actually roll mine. Um, but you could use them, you know, in their entirety like this or make them go further and obviously cut them down into little chunks. And like I say, I mean, I've made paper clips and um, clustery pieces, all sorts of different pieces from these. So that's one. That is the eclectic one. Now. I haven't listed these things at filming, but when the video goes up, they will have been listed. So hopefully I will list them as the, you know, the items that they are, if you see what I mean. So what you see is what you will actually get. Whereas lots of items that I do, they're on a potluck basis. But these, I will try and actually do them, you know, so that if you see a particular one here, sorry, still picking off the hot glue threads. Um, if you see a particular one that you like here, Obviously, you'll be able to see in the photographs on my website and know that you're ordering, you know, the one that you've seen here that you like. So, yeah. Sorry. It's kind of addictive when you get pulling the um, hot glue threads off, to be honest. So, yeah, lots and lots of different pieces. Now, I think the one that we did um, together, I can't really remember, but I'm sure we got something like 15 or maybe even more than that. Um, little sort of sections that we trimmed off so definitely you can have hours of fun making all sorts of different things from this um, you know one snippet strip gives you an awful lot of different items so yeah I mean again you could trim these off as small or as large as you like and you know then obviously convert them into <clears throat> um, you know paper clips or clusters or however that you fancy using them but they're really lovely, aren't they? So that's another one. And then we've got this one, which is in the gorgeous blues with some touches of pinks and lilacs as well, but absolutely gorgeous. So that's why I've done them as individual listings, really, because obviously we've got the very pink ones and then this one's very blue. And, you know, if you obviously are, you know, very much of a pink lover, but not blue or vice versa, then, you know, maybe you would not want to have a potluck basis item so that's why I thought I would do them separately so that's the blue one so that's the four snippet strips then I have got these little journals now when I'm calling them journals they're not really journals they're kind of just like a little wrap around um, piece 
they are using some book page here as the covers i've done some of these before we have even done this on a video and yeah i just had some of the book pages left i've still got a couple left so i will still make um you know a couple more of these in the future and put them up but at the moment these are the ones that i have done so i'm just going to quickly show you so we've got this one it's just got some ribbon kind of attached here and then some lace on the back and then you just tie it in a bow and of course then open it out and you've got then a variety of pages now when i say a variety of pages you've got all different pages so you might have some fly sheet in here you may have some vintage documents and <clears throat> you may have some of the um, deli pages here we've got some more vintage document and then they've just been stitched on the sewing machine into this kind of cover and then of course the cover i've decorated up so this is some of my new paris collection papers this is some of my um butterfly collection i think they're actually from the pale butterflies i think um and then yeah lots of gorgeous yummy bits we've got one of my ribbon embellishments again i've got ribbon packs um in my shop on my website as well so yeah lots of fun yummy things now i have to say i'm not really a yellow person um normally so this would not be kind of something i would you know be drawn to but i have to be honest i absolutely love this and out of all of these i think this one might actually be my favorite one even though it's kind of in yellows but yeah absolutely love it so that one then we've got this one <clears throat> and again these aren't going to be on a potluck basis i will list these individually so that again you get the ones that you actually want <clears throat> i'm so sorry i've got a frog in my throat so again we've got a variety of food colored paper the deli paper some vintage document and things so all different you know pages and papers in there and then this here this is from my large um images um i think my large images and then again we've got some little flowers on the trims we've got another one of those little ribbon embellishments there sorry just still picking out the hot glue threads um and then it's just bound around with some sari silk which just wraps around and then you can just tuck that in there like that so i mean these are absolutely brilliant for something like a holiday journal or you know i don't know maybe a new baby or you know something that's an isolated small event i'm not saying having a, having a baby is a small event but you know kind of something like maybe if you were a grandparent or <coughs> excuse me something like that that you were just going to document the first few days or something so that's what they're kind of ideal for i think so then we've got this one i have to say this is probably my second favorite so yeah it's absolutely gorgeous i love it with the tassel here and again you've got some of my vintage um letter printables this here one of my vintage bird toppers this is from the pink lady um papers and then one of my colored book plates there all this gorgeous lace and a little diamante here and then you've just got a little fabric cluster here again i should have fabric clusters i think listed on my website but i'm not 100 percent sure whether there are any left but if you were interested there should be some on there i think and then again we've got a variety of pages inside so you know hopefully a really nice kind of eclectic mix you've got some lilac food colored papers and things just to go with the you know the lilac kind of theme on the back of here or outside of here perhaps i should say and then it just bounds or ties up with the organza ribbon there so love that one that's my second favorite and then we've got this one which again and this is another one of those um large image um images there this is from the myrtle cottage um ephemera kit this little flower and then we've got a butterfly that just go a butterfly <laughs> i don't know where i got that from not a butterfly at all a ribbon uh that just goes round the whole edge and you've got another one of my little ribbon embellishments so yeah love those and then you just open the whole thing out and again exactly the same you've got a variety of different papers in here to journal on so you know hopefully again all kind of really interesting and you know if you were to buy more than one or anything then hopefully you get you know two quite different looking pieces so that's those then i have got these ones now i have got a video coming up where we make these together um so i'm just going to very quickly show you these so here we've got bound round with this beautiful color 
I don't know what what color would you call this maybe like an amethyst or something uh sari silk isn't it just the most yummy color so this is using my um papers called the mauve these are on my etsy shop and yeah isn't that just so gorgeous and doesn't it whoops obviously forgot to paper clip those in so i'm just going to have to clip these in somewhere sorry um yeah they uh are on my etsy shop and it's backed onto my lace papers on here and yep we've just got lots of lace and things on the cover this is from my um paris collection papers and then you've got some more sari silk here and a little bow and then when you open it up again in here another piece from the uh paris papers oh i've got little bits little bits stuck in here um this is from one of my ephemera sets this is from i think my four piece um i think the four pieces of die cutty type pieces fuzzy cuts and then this here is from the paris collection background papers again and this is the pale lace in the pinks and purples and then we flick through this the purple rain papers and you've got quite a few different things so you've got lots of vintage document you've got lace and things doily and then you've got here some of my rich damask some of my clocks collection you've got vellum here you've got some of my decorative edge strips and then you've got loads of things paper clipped on with some rusted paper clips so they're all obviously printables but they're all just clipped on so loads of journaling space in here i have to say um and i had such a lovely time making these you've got some greaseproof paper in this one you've got a little clustery piece there um some vintage document then here you've got another piece from the oh my goodness what's that from oh i actually can't remember so i do apologize for that um and then it's just got some vintage sheet music some lace and then here again more things paper clipped on so i won't even um take them out to show you to be honest because we're just going to be oh i'll just quickly take them out actually because yeah we've just got some bits here inside this little foldy including a vellum um printable and then yeah all different little pieces this is all some vintage documents that it's held in and then just all held together like that and it all just clips on to the side of that page which is actually some vintage document so that just clips on oops, clips on like that uh vintage document you've got some vellum paper there with again that's from my butterfly collection papers you've got some vintage um uh book page here it's just been stapled on underneath there you've got some vintage document again little bits here kind of just attached with some lace you've got some internal envelope you've got food colored paper i love 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 this this is from my great expectations um kit and it's just printed onto this uh transparency but i just love it um and yep again all of these have just been stitched on the sewing machine to the covers so then you've got vintage documents again more little bits stapled on uh the internal envelope more documents more of the vellum and then here more vintage document we've got these ones there again just paper clipped on folded some vellum in with a couple of printables again that's the um pink and lilac lace printed onto the vellum that's the clocks collection papers more vintage document more greaseproof paper and then some food color paper and then again here oops another little paper clip holding on Ooh, a few more items here just from my um vintage header uh background pages the decorative edge strip papers and these are from my little note cards and envelopes so they all just go really nicely don't they and then here's some more of that um you know pale pinks and lilacs um uh lace collection papers onto the vellum and then here just one of my uh printable photographs printed on vellum and then just some vintage book page behind it stapled on some of the books collection page and then here we've got some doily some vintage book page bit of lace document and then this is again that purple rain and then you've just got some more of that decorative edge strip stapled on but it's been printed onto vellum so love that and then here I just popped a little flippy pad. So with a variety of um, my clocks collection and this is the uh, Rich Damas collection clocks. And I've kind of inter inter 
dispersed it into anyway something like that um and some of my decorative edge strips and then just a piece there from my four piece fussy cuts so that's that complete journal so lots and lots of journaling space for that and again i would kind of suggest that for something like you know a holiday a weekend away something like that that you know is maybe like an event or something you want to document that's kind of special when you just want to document that particular thing then we're coming on to this oh, so one. sorry about that i've got a bit of a cold so i had to just stop and sneeze um so then we've got this one so this one is exactly the same concept it's a wrap around little wrap around journal the background page that i have used for this is just my paris collection papers absolutely gorgeous and then this here is a little topper piece from the vintage victorian um ephemera pieces again i've just popped a bow top and bottom which i just thought you know went perfectly with these background pages um and it just wraps around with this ivory sari silk on the inside you've got um this is my pale blues and greens lace collection papers so on the back another piece from the vintage victorian there just used it as a tuck spot just some um food colored paper in there and then we've got again similar concepts so i won't kind of go through in quite so much detail but you've got the document and what have you you've got the doily bit page little bits clipped on um and then lots of bits kind of stapled on and things like that oh my goodness have i stapled that together oh no i haven't oh for a minute i thought oh i stapled it through two pages no so yep lots of pieces there more food colored paper uh internal envelope piece document and then this here um is some more pale lace and i do apologize i'm not sure whether this is from the pinks and purples or the blues and greens um but yeah anyway that's printed onto uh vellum a couple of bits here paper clipped on again with the rusty paper clips and then here some genuine vintage document um also should have some um vintage document sets and also the vintage uh fragment packs on my website as well so if you were interested in any of those um then more of this more vintage document envelope more of the food color paper more document and this is my butterfly cabinet collection and then again we've got this piece here this is just again from the paris collection papers and I just made a little fold out, Oops. just tucks in like that. And then um, some of that, what do you call that? Uh, the stamp catalogue book um, from a vintage book. Um, more doily vintage document, more of the internal envelope. Then here we've got um, some vintage document, which is folded over. That's where the actual fold was when I got it got this cute little um label kind of that was glued on there already again when it came to me and then just a couple of pieces again from the paris collection papers they just go brilliantly in here and they just i've tucked them in into that folded vintage document uh more food collection papers and more document there and then here we've just got a little sort of flippy pad with this from a little bit of vintage documents, this here from my perfume collection papers, and then here some envelope page. And then here, this belly band is from my, again, vintage Victorian, and I've just done it as a belly band and took another bit of the Paris collection papers. Again, made another little foldy, you know, foldy flip, and then I just popped a little couple of sheets there like a little tiny flippy pad with some vintage documents and I've just enclosed that into there like that so that all then just goes in like that so yeah I had a very very fun time making these so I may have to make some more of these they were just the yeah the most fun to make I have to say um and like i say there will be a video coming up of making these start to finish so um yeah really enjoyed it so keep your eyes peeled that should be up soon um so that's that now the next one is the journal so and like i say there are other things but these are just the things that i'm sort of showcasing um you know in the video so it is massive absolutely massive um yeah i don't know what happened to this but it's turned out one of the most chunky journals ever i think that i've ever done um so the uh, uh closure is some sorry silk and oops it's just literally 
doubled up, tied in a knot kind of roughly in the middle. I mean, actually, now I look, doesn't seem anywhere near the middle. Um, but yes, yeah, so we've got these two different kind of um, purpley kind of shades on there. So they're absolutely lovely. Now the cover, it's a soft envelope and it has been collaged with fabric. So you can see on the back. Now I also do sell these um, collaged fabric covers in my shop as well from time to time. Again, I don't know whether there's any in there at the moment, but if you like the look of them, then do, you know, do head over and have a look and see if there are any. Um, and then on the front, I have covered it with a um, topper. Again, I do have the topper packs um, on my website from time to time as well. And again, I don't know whether there are any in there, but if there are, you know, then obviously, yeah, do do head over and have a look. Um, so this is a um, topper just placed onto my fabric cover. And then I've just kind of embellished just a little bit around the topper. So, I mean, it came together very, very quickly and easily. And then going inside, so I collaged up on the inside. That's how I like to do my covers generally. If I'm using these fabric covers, um, they will come to you plain on the inside. And then I personally, if I'm doing that, I like to collage them up with various papers. I'm not saying that that's, you know, the only way to do it. I'm saying that's my favourite thing to do. So on here, it's collaged up with papers. You've got some lace here. You've got lace reinforcing the spine little bit of a fabric ruffle and then here with some sari silk we've just got this little foldy out piece um which we've made in a mass making this is my um header papers and this is from my french collection papers and my roses um collection papers here we've got lace going down the edge and then some little flowers there i'm out of the trim packs at the moment i'm afraid on my um shop so i do apologize for that um, and then here we've just got tucked into the first pocket here, we've got a little whoops, flippy pad, just with a bunch of different papers. So that just tucks into there. And then on this side, whoops, this is one of my architecture um, postcards. It's again, it's a printable it's slightly damaged from the coffee dyeing and the ironing process but you know that doesn't bother me but I do like to point that out um and that just tucks in there it's quite a tight squeeze I've got to be honest so yeah okay and then obviously ties back up with the sari silk right um on to the next page so whoops on the next page like I say it's very very chunky this uh, we've just got a little, um, I say little, it's like a giant cluster and I've used it as a little sort of corner pocket or tuck spot. Um, we've got some raffle down here. This is my perfume collection, the perfume bottles. And this again, I think is the, um, I think it's the roses paper. I'm not entirely sure, but this is definitely the roses papers in the background. So yeah, absolutely love those. And then one of my little um, fabric and paper clusters, which again, I do have these from time to time in my shop. Again, I don't know whether there are any at the moment, uh, but it just looks very cute up there. This is just a little printable. I just cut it in half and just popped it in there. I just thought it, you know, just fitted perfectly. And then here we've got one of those giant tags. Now, this is a tag that I think we've done this together where we did it with all the bits overhanging off the edge. So absolutely had such a lot of fun with this. We've got some sari silk at the top. Um, it's got one of my shoes, um, a little rose there from my Junk Journal Basics 2 collection, one of my windows, and then one of my flowers from my botanicals um, that are also in my shop. So yeah, just really love that tag. So have been hoarding it, but yeah, thought actually it goes pretty nicely in here. So time to get, you know, let go. Um, and then going over onto this page, isn't this a feast for the eyes? So absolutely love it. Um, it's my Valentine collection papers in the background. This is my Valentine collection papers. It's one of those heart pockets that we made during the week of Valentine's. Um, if you recall, we did that kind of uh, crafty love series. So, yep, we made that pocket and I thought it was just perfect for here. So I've got here some genuine vintage document like that. And that just goes into the side pocket. I'm just wondering whether this might actually go in here. Although now I'm thinking this probably won't fit. 
this is one of my um little uh i think vintage ephemera i think set three or something like that uh the roses note cards and that just goes in here like that i just decided i didn't really want the yellow rose kind of showing through the heart so switched it up um and then we've got fabric ruffle and some dom Monte trim and then on this page we've got a little book page um book page and printed printable uh pocket and we've got some lace some flower trim and then we've got a little um stitched cluster down the bottom uh a gem on there and then we've got here this is from my pink poses um papers that's just one of the tags and then this here this is again from the valentine's collection papers i oh, aren't they just so cute and to be honest i don't think too valentiney you know i know it is kind of lovey but it works fine in this journal so i love 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 how that looks and then i've mixed it in with some vintage document again some more of the valentine's papers and some more vintage document so love how that all looks and then going over the page here oh my goodness absolutely love this page so much so again this is the roses collection papers on the back and then this here is from oh i'm trying to think now what this is actually from uh it might be from the large birdhouse papers i think i can't quite remember but yeah i'm sure it's from the large large birdhouses and um i wouldn't have again i wouldn't have put those together but don't they look absolutely yummy so you've got a pocket in here and then you've got a couple of pockets here i don't know why i've missed filling these um yeah for some reason i've missed those completely so let me just see if i've got anything laying around that i can just pop into those so i've got here a little journal card there again one of my per perfume bottles on there um and then let's just see these are those um that i made recently as part of rachel's weekly cha challenge um Oh, videos. Now look, that's too big. Oh, that's so annoying. Right, that's really annoying. Uh, let me see what else I've got. Oh, I've just got one of these. I'm just going to pop that in there. Just so as I've put something in there. Um, so yeah, I absolutely love, love, love that page, I have to say. And then here we've got food colour paper and just a little clustery bit there. Um, again, you know, kind of just a bit of detail on one or two of the pages, a little clustery item there. This is my um, damask papers and then it's got the pocket with the Valentine collection papers. Again, don't they look gorgeous together? They just work so well, don't they? And then tucked in behind there. So I've put this as a bit of a tuck spot. I've got this little piece. These um, little vintage -y type. I can't remember what these are called, but they're like a little vintage ephemera type pack. I have got these on my website as well they come in little packs of well you get lots and lots of these kinds of sheets of paper and i just find them very very handy and then i've just stapled on some other items that i've stamped a bit of lace and then some pearly trim isn't that just so gorgeous fold it in half and ow ow <laughs> i don't know what i'm talking about sorry oh just perfect for tucking in uh, then here I've just got one of my Victorian Beauties um, ephemera pieces and then just here this um, little piece there. I'll just tuck those in. Some fabric ruffle and a little bow and some bling. And then here this is more of the uh, damask papers. And then I've got this pocket which... So we've got lots of, um, you know, tuck places here. So this has got a pocket here and a pocket here and then I've done it as a tuck spot and it also has a pocket at the top. So you've got one, two, three, four places to tuck things. So we've got a massive tag. Really love that. I made that such a long time ago and we're talking like a few years ago and I've been hoarding it ever since. Ridiculous. So I finally decided to part with it. I think it goes really nicely on this page. So that tucks in the back. Then I've got, this is one of my London collection um, papers and I've printed them four to a page. So it works almost like a little postcard. I've just inked it up. Um, it's printed onto photo quality, 230 GSM sort of card. So it's nice and thick quality. 
and then I've just popped a couple of rosebud um, trims on the side there that goes into the top loading pocket so that's pocket number two and then here this is just some of my clocks collection papers it's been coffee dyed I just did a little trifold and then just stapled on a few just a few random sort of papers on there that blue that's from my uh, tea collection isn't it just so pretty against that clocks collection it looks lovely doesn't it and then some sheet music just stapled those on so that just tucks into there and then here again just a little tag and that just tucks in the side so loads of different tuck spots there and then on this side we've got one of those vellum pockets this is one of those vellum pockets inspired by wendy's journal adventures We've got loads of different things layered up here um, and then a wax seal and some lace and things like that. And again, tucked into there, I just took a vintage image from a vintage book. So that just goes into there like that. And then going over the page, again, absolutely love this page. It's so beautiful, isn't it? So this is also those Roses collection papers. And this is, again, that same paper from i'm i'm pretty sure the large birdhouse um papers and wow doesn't it look gorgeous so i've done one of those doily pocket um pockets which we have got a video doing those so you've also got a pocket in here which i haven't even put anything in but you could e easily put something in there so here we've just got a little um don't know really what you'd call it but anyway you've got some flippy <laughs> flippy things on here some flippy little bits on the inside and it all folds over that's in here this is done like a little oops, like a little belly band piece and then you've got the two pockets here this is from my vintage Lon london collection papers so i've got one in the back doily and one in the front doily like that and then again another one of my ribbon embellishment pieces which are in the you know you get one of these at least in the uh ribbon um packs that i have for sale then i've got a little ribbon embellishment here with a vintage postage stamp and some flowers i think we have got a video doing those um and then here another one of my stitched clusters and then we've got you know more kind of plain pages for journaling just with odd little bits for decorative detail one of those heart clusters which again, I'm pretty sure that we did um, this together in a video. Sorry about that. I just had to quickly phone my sister and say something. Um, so yes, this is one of those. We've definitely done those on video quite a long time ago, it has to be said. Um, this is again my uh, Pale Damask collection and we've got some lace trim down the edge and some pearly trim. And then here, Sari Silk tying this round and it's one of those little double pockets which we made in a mass making this again is my roses collection papers and i've just tucked in a couple of little printables there like that okay and that just ties round a little cluster there made using my um perfume collection papers and one of my little I think that actually is a fussy cup from the perfume collection papers as well. Sorry, I thought that was perhaps a fussy cup, but no. Um, and then one of my fairy tale words there saying once upon a time and one of my light butterflies there. And then it's also a side tuck and I've just got a little fold out piece. This is just from my vintage documents, Oops, vintage documents collection. <coughs> and that just tucks in there like that. And then this is the centre of the signature. Now, I have to say, this is a very busy page. Um, it looks kind of busier with, obviously, the things tucked in. So if I pull them out, you'll be able to see perhaps a little bit better. I love a busy page sometimes. And to be honest, I just thought, oh, let's, you know, let's just go for it. So, yeah, I just let my, well, let my, <laughs> my, uh, I was going to say my creativity flow, but I'm not sure whether that's really the right thing to say. But anyway, um, so this Valentine's collection papers in the background. We've got some vintage documents, uh, and one of those heart envelopes. So the bursting heart um, envelopes, like the um, bursting bloom envelopes that we did um, in the Crafty Love series. So it's one of those. Again, this is my um, Roses collection papers, and this is obviously my hearts um you know uh pieces 
this is just a little heart that I cut out freestyled from the Valentine collection papers but doesn't it look yummy and again although very lovely it doesn't look specific Valentine's Day I don't think um some raff little ruffle down here and a little bow and a bit of bling one of my vintage postcard printables one of my button card printables and then here again I've just done it's, ooh, some of the Valentine's collection papers and then I just made a little um you know like a little booklet with some vintage document and then just stapled on a couple of extra things on the outside just for sort of decorative detail so love how that looks so these just go in <coughs> here behind the oh no must have only had one in there I couldn't remember how I'd done this so we had one in there and then we had this little flippy pad I think was over here this is just a corner tuck spot um made from some collage masterboard and again it's got one of my vintage circles um these I haven't put in my shop yet, but they'll be coming soon. And then here, one of my, um, you know, ribbon, uh, I don't know what you call this, banner type things as well. And then this goes here into the envelope um, like that. We've got a little clustery type piece on here. So yeah, loads of things going on on this centre of the signature, but I just thought, oh, you know, let's make it really, really interesting to look at. Then here, much more toned down page. So after the kind of full on, um, you know, da -da of this page, <laughs> this looks a lot calmer. So this is just my pale damask. And then here, this is the roses collection. And we just made a little pocket from the roses collection papers and then put in one of my, <coughs> one of my pieces from my vintage headers pieces there. And then here, tucked in the side, again, some vintage document. I love this vintage document so much. I've got a few of these. Um, and yeah, they're just so lovely, I have to say. This paper, can you hear this? It's super soft and it's just got this really crinkly, kind of crackly type. Yeah, I just absolutely love it. So yeah, I just, um, you know, folded that in and tucked it into the pocket. So perhaps it, perhaps it didn't fold in on itself. Although I think it did. Hang on. Oh, there we go. Um, and that just tucks into the side. And then we've just got some lace down the bottom. And then just a little bow there. Um, and one of my pale butterflies there with a diamante in the middle. Another one of my fabric um, clustery pieces. So again, these actually, I forgot to say, a lot of these types of pieces you could create from those snippet rolls so if you just took a little section from the snippet roll you could you know make things like this um yeah i forgot to mention that uh a little bit of just printable there on some lace greaseproof paper some more of that deli paper doily vintage um sheet music just a little label there onto that paper with some lace again another feast for the eyes honestly this journal i had such a blast making this because colourful which oh my goodness I can just never get enough of colour uh so it's got one of my heart printables there and then just this is just a piece from my uh Victorian London collection papers um you get a collage sheet with lots of different little you know pieces and that's just one of those so it just tucks in there like that and then picking up the blues from here so love how this page looks I'm just going to take the piece out so you can see it again in its kind of glory like that without any bits in so I just love the way these blues kind of just pick up so this is the roses collection paper this here is from the clocks collection papers you've got a little rosebud there from my junk journal basics kit one this little piece here from my uh, French collection papers <coughs> and then you've got here a butterfly from the junk journal basics kit one as well and this is one of those again doily pockets so we've got a pocket here a tuck spot behind and then these two pockets here another one of those rosebuds from the junk journal basics set one um a little bow and some lace but doesn't that just look gorgeous i mean i have to say i thought this was my favorite page but now i'm like oh i'm not sure now let me know below which of these do you like best this one or this one or maybe a different one 
and tell me what you think to that busy centerpiece do you hate that do you like it what do you think um one of my victorian beauties um printables so that just tucks into this top loading pocket then we've got a flippy pad made up of vintage documents and food coloured papers and then some of my decorative edge strips printed onto the tracing paper stapled together and then a little rosebud there so that goes into oops, into there like that then again two more bits from my victorian london and this one just rounded the corners all four corners it just changes the look completely doesn't it so something so simple and small like that completely alters the whole look of the pieces so you know just goes to show that you know you really can do quite a lot with very minimal effort um also love this page actually i have to say so oh so sorry and i know i've said this before but you know i said to my daughter oh no does it sound like i'm kind of really being boastful um about you know and and she said yes mum, it does I said, I'm not trying to sound boastful. I'm saying because I love the, the colours and I love the papers. I love the look of them together. I'm not kind of saying, oh, wow, look at this, you know, that I've made. I'm saying, oh, wow, look at how gorgeous those look together. Um, right, so we've got this lovely um, page here. Again, this is my damask collection papers, the rich damask on the roses collection. You've got one of my um, uh, perfume bottle printables from the... <laughs> from the perfume ephemera big rosebud from the perfume ephemera as well big one there little one there stapled on some bling and this i think is also from the i think that's also included in the perfume ephemera printables um i think a uh, little fabric ruffle down there and then tucked in so we've got a whole bunch of different things so we've got some vintage ephemera in the form of this gorgeous letter so this is dated 1913 <clears throat> i have to say this says um or oh, i thought this said um your curator's bonus it says curator bonus i mean that presumably is some sort of legal term i don't know anyway three thousand pounds whatever this is um you know referring to which is quite a lot of money back in 1913 isn't it so i mean it's a lot of money now but yeah really a lot of money back then so that tucks in here oops if i can actually now tuck it in that is so yeah that tucks into the oh my goodness it's always so difficult when you're doing this and trying to keep your head out of the way maybe that tucked into the side right we'll put that in the side <coughs> then we have this piece which is again vintage ephemera dated 1906 so that we can tuck in here at the top pocket yeah that slides in better okay and then we've got this one this is from my rose park um principles and that just tucks in like that so yeah lots and lots of tucks there and then on this side of the page just some collage masterboard stitched around the edge and we've got some lace trim and things another one of those little lace cluster things from a little snippet strip exactly like those snippet strips that i said about and showed at the beginning that obviously are listed in my shop so that's how they look cut into their little sections um so really really cute and very versatile this is another one of those pieces from the little um, vintage ephemera packs that I said that I've got um, in my shop. And then here, clustered up some items at the top. I mean, doesn't that just look so scrumptious? And, you know, it just took two seconds to make. It's just, you know, random things clustered up there. So that just goes in the side. <clears throat> Absolutely love how that looks. Um, and then a little detail at the top. And then on this page, kept this quite neutral and quite calm, which is, yep, unusual <laughs> for this journal. We've got, again, the green damask. We've got here some um, of my butterfly ephemera pieces on the form of a label on some lace. And then we've got a little coin envelope here. This is made using the Melrose Place papers. That's this. And then the damask papers on the top. Now, this is... Ooh, tricky to get to especially when i'm trying to keep my head out the camera again just tucked in another piece from that victorian london collection there that just goes in there and then just oops wrap that 
string around um yep and then one of my light butterflies again some more vintage ephemera just in the form of this kind of I mean I say ledger it's got scribble all over it to be honest and yeah it really does look like scribble kind of jottings of some sort um so yeah I've just tucked that in this which is glued down like a tuck spot again more pages for journaling like that and then here this is another piece that we made during that um crafty love series so this is some vintage document <clears throat> okay so vintage document there dated 1916 copied uh, not copied um glued some uh of the valentine's papers there a butterfly and then this has just got one of my heart printables there a heart gem and then more of that uh the valentine's papers there and then on the back here just another section from the valentine's papers and a butterfly and then one of the postage stampy looking things from the valentine's papers as well so i love how that looks and obviously when you open it up you've got all that journaling space on the back so love that this is another piece from the victorian london collection and i just used it like a little tuck spot here on top of these uh roses collection papers <clears throat> and just tucked in a little another piece of vintage ephemera this just then paper clips onto the page like that and then going over the page we've got here this is another doily pocket um made using my clocks collection papers some doily here and then another one of my victorian beauties pieces that just tucks in like that one of my butterflies there um and then some lace here this is another little piece from one of those kind of snippet strips so yeah very versatile and then here we've got another one of those um, blooming, you know, heart envelopes. Um, and it's got one of my shoe topper printables. And one of my fairy tale words here saying glass slipper. Um, some lace trim and some fabric ruffle down the bottom. Some sari silk across the top of the envelope. And then in the top we've got <clears throat> a large tag. Which again, I've got a video coming up where we make all these lovely tags as well um very very quick and easy to make so yep that will be coming up quite soon so that just tucks into oops tucks into there like that and then just a little flippy pad again containing a variety of vintage documents and then the valentine's papers there and some lace trim across the top and that just tucks in like that and then some lace trim on the side and now we're into the very back of the journal it felt like it took a long time getting here it's very 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 stuffed full this journal i have to say so here we've got um a book page style pocket like one of the patricia veramontes ones um i think again i have done a video on these recently but i can't be sure whether it has gone up um again this is one of my victorian london um pieces and what i did i just cut it down small and then i took one of the pieces saying london i cut that down you know tiny and stapled it on just with some lace and doesn't that look so cute and then i just rounded these two corners left these ones square and again it just alters that completely so you know very versatile papers um another cluster done using my perfume collection papers again incorporating one of the hearts there and a little gem got some lace and things and then tucked into the side again just a vintage um, letter here this is dated i think that says 1881 um so again you could journal on the back of that or you could obviously tear this down and use it in collage or something you could tear it into you know quarters where the fold lines are and make flippy pads from it you know things like that love 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 this little um uh what do you call those like their logo i suppose it's very very pretty isn't it so yeah really really nice so that just goes into there like that and then the final um back page or the final page is the inside of the back cover so we've got um fabric ruffle going down the edge we've got this collage masterboard here popped in like a belly band here um, again it's got a piece from my great expectations made into a cluster using um, one of my pale butterflies and i can't even tell you what paper this is and then some lace and things uh, a little label there from the perfume collection another piece of that snippet um, strip 
like that so yeah really really useful those are you've got one of my lace clusters there which again i have the lace clusters on my um, website again i don't know whether there's definitely any left but i do put those in there quite often so that's one of my lace clusters there you've got this here again from the victorian london this is actually again another little pocket there isn't anything in there but you could definitely put something in there and then this again is one of those little um, pieces from those sets that I said I have um, for sale. And then you've got some sheet music and then here just some um, vintage brick page. So, of course, you could just over this, you could put kind of like coffee dyed paper into, you know, all three of these strips and um, journal on there. Or, of course, you could just leave it for a lovely you know tactile lovely piece to handle and yeah you've got some flowers at the top so very 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 full journal i have to say um lots and lots of journaling space i think in there even though it's stuffed to the brim um full of decorative <laughs> details so i really hope that you like it um yeah it was a bit of a labor of love i have to say because it yeah it turned out very 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 chunky um, but yeah, I do hope that you love it. So that and obviously all of those other pieces that we've just had a look at, um, they are all listed on my website, um, you know, at the moment. Obviously, if any have sold, you know, that's kind of since I have obviously filmed this video and, and listed the items. So um, yeah, at the time of obviously filming this video, all of these items are available. So um, yeah. I hope that you have fun. I hope that you uh, like all the things that I'm putting in the shop. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'd really appreciate it if you could be give this video a thumbs up and have fun. If you feel inspired to make anything here or have a look around, I hope you have fun. So thanks so much then. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks then. Bye.